Hello, welcome to how to solve this system of equations a squared minus b is equal to 30 b squared minus a is equal to 30 we need to find all possible values of a and b we name this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2 now we subtract equation 2 from equation 1 equation 1 minus equation 2 so left side of equation 1 is a squared minus b minus left side of equation 2 b squared minus a is equal to right side of equation 1 is 30 minus right side of equation 2 30 now a squared minus b minus b squared plus a is equal to 30 minus 30 0 now we write this uh, negative b squared with this a squared and we write this negative b with this plus a like this a squared minus b squared plus a minus b is equal to 0 now this uh, a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b times a plus b and from these two terms plus a minus b we can factor out plus 1 plus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left a minus b is equal to 0 Now, as you can see, this expression a minus b, this expression a minus b is a common factor. So, we factor out this a minus b. And in bracket left, in bracket left, this a plus b and this plus 1. In bracket left, a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here, either this expression a minus b is equal to 0 or this expression a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0 now from here a is equal to b we name this equation equation 3 and from here a is equal to we move this plus b and this plus 1 to the right side this plus b becomes negative b and this plus 1 becomes negative 1 we name this equation equation 4 now first we solve this equation we put the value of a b in equation 1 equation 1 is a squared minus b is equal to 30 equation 1 is a squared minus b is equal to 30 this is equation 1 in this equation we put this value of a b so in place of a squared we write b squared minus this b and we move this 30 to the left side it becomes negative 30 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation in terms of b and is factorable so we solve it by factorization b squared we split this negative b as we split this negative b as negative 6b plus 5b and this negative 30 negative 30 is equal to 0 now from these two terms b squared minus 6b we can factor out b b as a common factor and in bracket left b minus 6 and from these two terms plus 5b minus 30 we can factor out 5 plus 5 as a common factor and in bracket left b minus 6 is equal to 0 now as you can see this expression b minus 6 
this expression b minus 6 is a common factor so we factor out this b minus 6 b minus 6 as a common factor and in bracket left in bracket left this b and this plus 5 in bracket left b plus 5 is equal to 0 now from here either this expression b minus 6 is equal to 0 or this expression b plus 5 is equal to 0 from here b is equal to 6 and from here b is equal to negative 5 now from these values of b we can find the value of a using equation 3 equation 3 is a is equal to b recall that a is equal to b so from here a is equal to 6 and from here a is equal to negative 5 so from here we get two pairs of solutions from here a comma b is equal to first pair is 6 comma 6 and second pair is negative 5 comma negative 5 now from this fourth equation we find other two solutions from this equation 4 this value of a negative b minus 1 we put in this equation 1 in place of this a put the value of a negative b minus 1 like this value of this a negative b minus 1 squared minus this b is equal to 30 now according to this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared this uh, negative b minus 1 whole squared is equal to negative b squared minus 2 times negative b times 1 plus 1 squared minus this b is equal to 30 next negative b squared is b squared and this negative 2 times negative b plus 2b plus this 1 squared is 1 minus this b and we move this 30 to the left side it becomes negative 30 is equal to 0 now b squared this plus 2b minus 1b plus b and this plus 1 minus 30 minus 29 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation in terms of b and is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula in this equation a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to negative 29 And according to quadratic formula b is equal to minus value of b 1 plus or minus square root of value of b 1 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c negative 29 divided by 2 times value of a 1 next b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 29 plus 116 divided by 2 times 1 2 and b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 116 117 divided by 2 
and b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of we can write this uh, 117 as 9 times 13 divided by 2 next b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of 9 is 3 times square root of 13 divided by 2 now from here we get two values of b b is equal to negative 1 plus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 and b is equal to negative 1 minus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 now recall that recall this equation for a is equal to negative b minus 1 recall that a is equal to negative b minus 1 now to find the value of a in this equation we put the value of b negative 1 plus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 a is equal to minus value of b is minus 1 plus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 minus this one and to find the second value of a in this equation we put this value of b negative 1 minus 3 times square root of 13 a is equal to minus value of this b negative 1 minus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 minus this one next a is equal to this minus will change these signs this negative 1 becomes positive 1 and this plus 3 times square root of 13 becomes negative 3 times square root of 13 divided by 2 minus we can write this one as 2 over 2 next a is equal to we write this 2 and this 2 as common denominator common denominator 2 and this one minus this 2 minus 1 minus this 3 times square root of 13 3 times square root of 13 and from here a is equal to this minus will changes these signs this negative 1 becomes a positive 1 and this negative 3 times square root of 13 becomes plus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 minus we can write this one as 2 over 2 and a is equal to we write these two as common denominator 2 and 1 minus these 2 negative 1 plus 3 times square root of 13 plus 3 times square root of 13 now from here we get other two pairs of solutions a comma b is equal to first pair is the value of a is negative 1 minus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 comma value of b is negative 1 plus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 and the second pair value of a is negative 1 plus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 comma value of b is negative 1 minus 3 times square root of 13 over 2 and uh, first we found the two pairs of solutions 6 comma 6 and negative 5 comma negative 5 first we found uh, two pairs of solutions 6 comma 6 and uh, negative 5 comma negative 5 so these are the four pairs of solutions of uh, this equation 
this is the final answer